Hi, she was seven. I'm back. So this video is going to be about those women who you see on Facebook, on social media, who uh, talk about, you know, um, oh, well, what do I bring to the table? What as women do we bring the table to the table for men? And how can we be better women for men and blah, 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 blah. That's a gimmick, okay? I'm going to tell y'all straight up. Men, I know y'all watching. That's a gimmick. Women that write stuff like that are looking for attention from so-called good men, okay? This is kind of like bait. And this is kind of like, oh, I'm really a good woman. I'm going to do all the things that, um, you know, a good man would want. I'm putting myself out there and agreeing with these guys who are looking for something more in women. And I'm trying to attract this kind of guy. Because it's never those kind of women who are married. It's never those women who are in long-term relationships. It's always those single women who are looking for those kind of guys that, you know, want women to bring stuff to the table. To me, this you might as well just say free room and board. You might as well tell them, hey, I will take care of you. You might as well tell them, hey, I will go out. I will work. I will pay all the bills. You just, I just need a man. You might as well go tell them that because <laughs> that's exactly the type of man that you are attracting when you post silly stuff like that and argue with women who have high standards or standards period. Okay. Now <laughs> there's been plenty of times where people have, you know, posted stuff up that I have said and will, you know, trash me for it. And these are women, but then at the same time, Two weeks later on their Facebook account, they're talking about how they've been screwed over by men, by this, by that. So, it don't bother me. I'm just saying. Those type of women are fishing for good men, but they're also lowering their standards to do it because they think that's what men want to hear. And as soon as that man gets in that relationship, all of a sudden she wants to develop standards in the middle of the relationship. And then, then she wonders why the relationship doesn't work out. Then she comes to me, well, how can I get my man to be more motivated? How can I get him to get up and go get a job? How can I get him to want to do more? How can I get him to want to have uh, better things in life? Well, when you put out statements on Facebook that women need to bring more to the table and we need to support our men and we need to uh, help them when they're down, when you put that kind of stuff out on Facebook and then you come to me asking me two weeks later how to get your man motivated and wanting to do stuff, the problem is not your man. The problem is you and what you're attracting and what you're saying is okay and what you are fishing for, okay? When you put those kind of statements out, men automatically say, oh, she has low standards. She doesn't care. She's going to do for me. I don't need to do as much as I would have to do for another woman with her. She, she's she's going to be understanding when I tell her I can't do this, 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 and that because she believes in those values so I'm gonna go I'm gonna you know date her for a while until she realizes I'm not changing at all <laughs> sorry y'all had a phone call so um, yes so when it gets to the middle of the relationship now she wants more now she wants him to have a good job she wants him to to have a career she wants him to go to school she wants him to marry her she wants him to be the provider she wants him to you know take care of this and take care of that but when she advertised herself for a man on Facebook to get attention, she was calling out to all men who weren't about nothing, okay? So you can't have it both ways. Lowering your standards on social media to attract a man is not going to attract the man you really want. It's going to attract the man that you can take care of. It's going to attract the man that you can provide for. It's going to attract the man who is looking for you to bring things to the table, probably most of the things, okay? So never put that stupid type of ad out and then come back six months later wondering why your man ain't doing nothing, okay? Because that's what you sit for. That's what you advertise for, okay? Now y'all can drag my name through the mud or whatever, I don't care, but I don't have those problems. Why? Because I set my standards high, I leave them high and I don't bring them down for nobody. Why? Because I have to live with myself, okay? I have to live with myself in the end and I choose to keep them high and it's paid off it has paid off 
it and ask any woman who keeps their standards high it will eventually pay off okay if you're just in a rush if you just lonely and you just sad you know and you just will take any type of man that's fine but you know a lot of people say you know it's worth the wait to find a good one okay and another thing ladies when you get into a relationship tell them what you want in the beginning don't wait till the middle don't wait to almost the end where he's about to leave you tell him up front what you want okay don't say oh well we're just gonna see where this goes or this is a friendship or we're just having fun you tell him exactly what you want before you even sleep with him the first time you say look I am in this relationship to see where it goes I'm looking for a serious future with someone I want to build I want marriage I want kids I want home a house I want you know blah 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 if you're not on the same page right now please let me know because this is what I'm holding you to this is what you're committing to right now before we sleep together this is what you're gonna be committing to okay we're gonna start making future plans together I need to get my life going if you want to play around if you just want friends with benefits you need to tell me now so I can adjust my thought pattern and get on the same you know wavelength as you and I know how to handle you you know and they'll be like well I'm not ready for all of that yet why don't we just back it up and be friends and you know if you need you know if you just want to hang out call me sometime that right there will let you know if he's gonna be serious or you know just wants to play around if you put all that weight on his shoulders right in the beginning he has a choice to waste your time or to back off you know and if you hold him to stuff that he agreed to in the beginning of the relationship then you know when you start having problems you can go back look you already said you were gonna uh, do this this isn't that. if you're not about it let me go move on let me move on tell him and say it loud for everybody can hear you know you can't be afraid to embarrass people when they don't keep their word because this will teach them a lesson for the next person look you'll you know if someone's not keeping their word and you feel like you've been tricked all you got to do is say well thank you so much for being honest with you I have you know it's been really nice knowing you but I need to move on and don't ever get emotionally attached to somebody who does not have a ring on your finger okay I'm just telling y'all never get emotionally attached to anyone until you're married why not a hundred percent anyway let it go 50 percent where you can take them or leave them okay lots of women they go overboard they be like oh I love him he's the one he's my soulmate never let anybody get you like that only go halfway and 50 percent until they put the ring on it and marry you that's the other 50 percent okay never go crazy over me I always have always let them know they are replaceable okay and I always keep your mental and your emotional at that same level that they are replaceable okay too many women let their emotions roll and they get messed up okay I'm just telling y'all it's easy to fall into when you're young but after a couple of times you're gonna be like okay I know what you're about let's move it along I'll you know you're not you're not right for me let's just have this date and then I'll probably never call you again okay no no the kind of man you're dating know that if he's a player know that if he's gonna take you seriously don't listen to his words watch his actions if he's done more than he's talked about that's a good man if he's talked about more than he's done he's not about anything let him go okay all right so ladies when you give too much to a man in the beginning when you bring too much to the table when you have all these things that you're offering here 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 you're you become a bargain you become buy one get one free you become 50% off coupon you become a sale you know you become low in demand when you're full price never going on sale couture like Kanye says you're the most sought after you know people want you because you're not a bargain People want you because they know that you're a status symbol. People want you because you they know that you're quality and you're not going to try to mark your price down just to get sold because you feel like, you know, I've been on the shelf too long. No. Um, and I'm just using that as an example because a lot of women will bargain themselves cheap 
to, to a man who don't even have a lot of money. They have to have the bargain chick because they don't have anything. You know, they can't, they can't provide for a woman with high standards. So they're going to find the one with the lowest self-esteem, the one bringing the most to the table, the one who uh, is desperate, and the one who cries for attention on social media. Those are their targets, okay? So I'm just letting y'all know. I know we live in the age of you know, social networking and there are certain rules and there are certain things that you need to abide by when you are trying to date online or attract men's attention online. Don't attract those wrong men attention. That's just that's just a waste of your time. And six months later, five months later, you're gonna be crying. Okay. Uh, I don't care how spiritually aligned or connected you are to somebody. That's not it's, you know all that is is knowledge. Anybody can read a book and get some spiritual knowledge. No. Okay. Watch their actions, okay? See what they have to offer you. You know, it's it's not supposed to be the other other way around. You're not supposed to be offering them anything unless you're a waitress, okay? Um, the only thing that you should be offering is yourself as a total package, okay? If they don't want that, they want more. If they want you to do A, B, C, and D, or you're not qualified, then, you know, Find someone who wants you as you are. You don't have to bring all the extra stuff, okay? The right man won't need all that extra stuff. They'll already have it taken care of on their side, okay? They're not going to be like, well, I'm going to need you to do this, this, and that because I can't do it by myself. They're going to be like, you know, I got you. You know, I have worked hard. I've prepared. I know what I want in my life. I have all my priorities in the correct order. This is what I want. You don't, you don't have to do much because I've already done everything, you know. So this is the type of man that a lot of women will attract who aren't bargaining themselves off cheap, okay. And I'm not talking about like a price. I'm talking about standards, okay. You always see the woman with the highest standards with the best guy. The lowest standards got the worst guy. It's common sense, okay. So ladies... A lot of people ask me, how do you have your, how do you have so much confidence? What is it about you um, that gives you that confidence to speak that truth and do this, this, and that? Because I know what I want, okay? You go up to a restaurant and you look on the menu, are you going to order something that you don't want? Something that you don't like? If you have the money in your pocket to pay for anything on this menu, are you going to order, you know, the cheapest thing on there? No, you're going to get what you want, okay? If you're going to play the game, you might as well play it to win what you want, okay? Uh, confidence is basically no fear of rejection, okay? I don't, I don't fear being rejected because I know right after that one is another one coming. Right after that one is another one coming. Right after that one is another one coming. Why? Because that's what men do, okay? Fear of, you should not fear rejection. You should fear ending up with the wrong man okay you should fear ending up with a broke man who can't do nothing for you that's what you should fear rejection is nothing you know i don't care i've rejected so many people until i got to the one that that met the qualifications you know you can't just settle for anything just because somebody tells you you're cute oh you're special oh this show me i'm special okay where's the gift that says i'm special what is the big grand thing that you have done to show me that i'm special Words are nothing. I need to see. Okay? So, when your man can show you something, when you don't have to make excuses for him, when he has prepared a way for you already, and you don't have to do much, but just show up and be there, that's a good guy. Okay? Don't go fishing for men on Facebook, lowering your standards, pretending to be holier than thou, and then six months later telling him you want A, B, C, and D. Don't do that, okay? That's why you always get played because you are false advertising yourself at a bargain rate. And then just like those phone companies and those cable companies, you want to raise the rate after a few months. No, okay? You can't start off a, a bundle package with uh, free, uh, you know, unlimited data and then two months later you got to pay for 
this much data if you use it up. No, you can't do that. You have to be one set mind, one set figure, you know. You can't trick people. You'll lose every time. Just like they have all those phone companies trying to steal other people's uh, customers. You know, if you bring your Sprint phone, AT&T will buy you out of your contract or Sprint will buy you or T-Mobile. You know, there's always a wait. There's always somebody waiting to buy you out. There's always some next guy who's waiting for you to break up with this guy. There's always that guy who's saying, okay, well, uh, now you want this, this, and that. But before, you didn't want anything. You just want to be a good woman and support your man and bring stuff to the table to him. Now you want to get married. Now you want to, you know, have a joint savings account. Now you want to go on vacation and build a future. No, I'm out. I'm going to Sprint. Bye. You know, you can't start off like that. You got to come correct. Okay, ladies?